Remember that Intel's still making a graphics card? Well, looks like Intel's flagship XEHPG DG2 gaming GPU has made an appearance within the Geekbench database along with its specifications. Now, the XEHPG lineup will be dedicated towards gaming graphics cards and will feature both enthusiast grade and mainstream options when the lineup hits the shelves on the second half of this year. The XEHPG DG2 GPU was spotted featuring 512 execution units that round up to 4,000. 96 cores. Now the GPU clock speed was maintained at 1800 megahertz max, though we don't know if these will be the final clock speeds for the graphics cards since the GPU tested here is still in an engineering state. Now as for VRAM, the card is listed with a 12.6 gigabyte memory capacity, but that's definitely incorrect. It seems like the benchmark is unable to properly identify the VRAM capacity and could just be 12 gigabytes in total. Now the XEHPG DG2 GPU also packs 4 megabytes of L2 cache as spotted within the log file over at Geekbench. Now what's surprising is that the XEHPG DG2 GPU was tested with an Intel Alder Lake S desktop CPU platform which comprised of a 12th gen processor featuring 16 cores and 24 threads. CPU was clocked at 2.2 GHz base and a 4.6 GHz boost clock. The Alder Lake CPU also features 30 MB of L3 and 6 MB of L2 cache and was featured on the LGA 1700 socket. Now the test platform comprised of 32 GB of DDR5 memory. The OpenCL results for the Intel XEHPG DG2 GPU is really bad and is far worse than even the GeForce 500 series graphics cards based on the Fermi architecture. Now this confirms that the XEHPG DG2 GPU tested here was one of the first units that are being evaluated. There are no optimized drivers available for it yet and once those are available, the performance would definitely ramp up and end up being on par with current modern day graphics cards. Now it should be pointed out that the few possible configurations for Intel's XEHPG DG2 lineup leaked out last month. Now those variants didn't list any 512 EU parts with 12 gigabytes of VRAM so it's likely this could be a test variant or simply a variant that wasn't mentioned in the list. In the case this ends up being a final GPU variant we would see the 512 EU GPUs in both 12 gigabytes at 192 bit flavors and 16 gigabytes at 256 bit flavors. Now each of these DG2 GPU SKUs will come in various configurations which will range from a full fat chip to several cut down variants. This is similar to Nvidia's Ampere GA102-400, GA102-200 naming schemes or AMD's even Navi21 XTX and Navi21 XT as well as Navi21 XL naming conventions. The top DG2 512 EU variant is just one configuration listed so far that utilizes the full die with 4096 cores, 256-bit bus interface, and up to 16 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. GDD, there's a lot of, I get those messed up. Anyway, eight gigabytes of GDDR6 listed as well. Now, based on demands and yields, Intel's could produce more variants of this flagship chip, but we can't say for sure just yet. All right, guys, I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you liked what you saw here, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there. Hit the bell notification so that we don't miss you in the future. And if you want to catch out something you may have missed, hit up the links over here on this side. And we'll catch you in the next one.